One of the challenge we sometimes is sometimes see with our learner driver clients is that they sometimes have trouble uh, seeing and recognizing interpreting lane navigation signs like these these signs that you can see here and then also being able to put those together and make a plan to be able to navigate a route um, or follow instructions from a driving instructor like turn right at the second right. Um, so Lauren's going to give us an example of how we can break that down and work on that skill. Okay, so we've got a basic map here and what I like to do is ask the learner driver to have a look at the road markings and identify if there's anything they haven't seen before. They might not have seen a straight arrow and a right arrow together, um, for example, and just talk them through anything they haven't seen before. I also ask them to have a look at what are the two-way streets and if there are any one-way streets they need to be aware of. And I'd hope that they'd pick out that as a one-way and that as a one-way street too. I would then ask them to find their way using the road markings from where their vehicle is to where we want them to get to. And I guess what we've created here is um, just a template drawing which we'll have available in the toolkit, but it's in a plastic sleeve. So we're able to pop that in there and then we can have clients just draw on the plastic sleeve with a whiteboard marker, erase it, use it again. Mm -hmm. So I will give the learner driver an example of how I'd like them to perform the activity. So this is my car. I'm going to drive straight until I hit the main road. I'm then going to turn right onto the main road. And I can see that I want to take my one, two, second right. So I'm going to go up to the second right. From here, I can see I need to take the second right and then a quick left. So I'm going to choose to turn into the more left lane and then take my first left. And I've gotten there. And the idea is that we're getting them used to using that kind of direction terminology, first left, second right, and to distinguish when they hit a main road and when they need to turn into a side street as well. Follow. How can we upgrade that, make it more challenging, hmm. Lauren? So what we might say is there's a fun run on or a street festival and that's been blocked off how can we get to that same house again? And we would hope that they would look, that there's the opportunity to turn down the first right instead of that one, take the first left and then the first left again. So we'd get them to talk this through. I'd go to the main road, I would turn right onto the main road, go to my, sec my first right. I know that I want to turn left, so I'm going to choose the more left lane take the first left and then I want to cross there and take the first left into that street. So it's just about that problem solving, that tactical planning and decision making they need to make as they're, as they're driving. And I guess if they're finding difficulties with that in the first instance, you, you can let them obviously rotate the map like you would when you when you're a driver. So that's some examples of lane positioning yeah. and navigation. Thanks, Lauren. No problem.